guest is a comedian who starred in the HBO series Lucky Louie. His HBO comedy special Shameless comes out on DVD June 26th. Please welcome Louis C.K. <laughs> Now, Louis, uh, we've known Hello. each other a long time. I haven't, I haven't spoken to you in a couple of months. How are it's you? Been a while. I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm fat. You're fat. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm a great it. big fat person. <laughs> no. It's just been. I'm growing fatter. I here's like I just weighed myself and I'm 240. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know how doctors have like a formula for rule of thumb how to figure what your optimum weight is. I'm pretty sure it's not your age plus 200 pounds. <laughs> That's could possibly be. That's really I don't fat. know. I haven't looked into it. A fat dude. Yeah. Well, well, how was let's talk about something cheerful then. How was your sure. Father's Day? Must Father's Day must have been? Uh, well, yeah, I got to spend it with my kids, which, yeah. you know, Yahoo. You're such a sentimental Well, it's sap. not, you know, it's like, hey, you're employee of the month, uh, mop up. You know, it's, it's, it's what I have to do. I have to be with my kids. I, I, um, I'll shut up. None of you have kids. I can see it by looking at you. It's, here's the thing. Parents never get to say that it's hard. You don't get to say that. Right. You, you, and it's the hardest thing in the world. Anything else that's hard, you get to say, this sucks. Right. But when you're a parent, first of all, it's impossible. You make cons mis huge mistakes constantly, like, oops, irreversible damage there, move on. You know, just <laughs> huge mistakes. <laughs> you don't get to sleep anymore, you don't have sex anymore, you eat standing up and fast. Uh, the entire nation depends on our success as parents. Yeah. And you don't even get to say, it sucks. You have to say stuff like, I couldn't even imagine my life without my children. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally imagine my life. <laughs> That's actually all I ever do, is imagine my life. Really? Without, and it's not a big fantasy. I'm not in the World Series of Poker. I'm, not in, I'm, I'm just sitting in a chair, jerking off and eating chocolate. That's really it. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Lord. Uh, okay. Well, well, listen, yes, you bring up a good point. Uh, parenting is definitely very hard work. Yeah, well, a, I have two kids, and I know that yeah. it's very hard work. Well, like, if you get sick, nobody cares. You, you can't call in sick to having kids. Right. As a matter of fact, if you get sick, your, your spouse hates you for being sick <laughs> because it's just making their life harder. Yeah. And I'm the same way. Like my wife, one time she's like, I have diarrhea. All, I had diarrhea all night. I'm staying in bed. And I'm like, let me see it. I want to see the diarrhea. <laughs> Show me at least a cup of diarrhea if you want to stay in bed. There's just no way I'm taking it on faith and spending all day with the kids by myself. I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. she's the same way. Like, I had a stomach flu. It was really, I, I was so sick, just deathly sick. And I, well, you know, my stomach hurt a yeah, lot. Yeah. And she's like, no, no, get out, get out of bed. Let's go. You know, you stayed up all night. It's your fault. Let's go. And I have to amp up how sick I think I am. Right, to get sure. in I'm like, I'm, no, I, I'm really sick. I might have internal bleeding right now. <laughs> and so she says, well, go to the hospital if it's that bad. Sure. And I did. You did. True story. You did. I went to a hospital. Just to try and, and prove I went it. into the emergency room and I said, um, I got a stomach ache. My wife doesn't care. And, uh, and they admitted me. Because at the emergency room, they don't go like, get out of here, you pussy. They, they, whatever you have, you can go in a hospital and say, like, I just feel icky. I just feel weird. And they, they have to. Put a bracelet on you and fill out a thing. And right. Whatever. And so this doctor, this wonderful doctor, she gave me morphine in my arm. <laughs> she gave me a drip of morphine. Really? And uh, which, you know, was great. And then... Uh, <laughs> And then she so sent me home with, with um, opiate suppositories, which is a huge dilemma to me. Okay. Because I like opium. It, who doesn't? It's perfect. It's the greatest thing ever. Yeah. But I have a huge problem with voluntarily putting things in my own ass. I just can't do it. So you're, it's a... It's a, it's a battle of wills yeah, here, which... Uh, and I'm in the bathroom with my pants and my ankle, and I'm like sweating and shaking, and I'm... That little tiny thing, I'm like talking to myself, just do it! Just come on! I don't want to do it. Finally, I cram it in there, and I think that was probably the greatest moment of my entire life. Really? Yes, because it's pure opiate pleasure that begins at your anus. <laughs> It just explodes.
just this warmth that starts at the ground yeah, zero yeah. that is your ass. <laughs> and you just go, oh, God, that is good. More things in my ass, please. Uh, okay, like then. So, uh, so that's, what it, that's, that's what it's like having kids. Yeah. <laughs> Shameless comes out this Tuesday, and Lily will be appearing at Crackers Comedy Club in Indianapolis, June 22nd through the 24th. Louis C.K., thank you. Thanks for coming back. The Mooney Suzuki, stick around. Are the girls ready yet? Not again.